Hey guys, it's me, Alina. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a origami um, flower. And uh, it's a lily pad flower sort of thing. So let's just get started. You're go what you'll be needing is just like a rectangle piece of paper that's about this size. And I forget what it's by, but whatever. So and you're going to need eight of your petal colors and four green papers. I'm not using colors really much, I'm just using white. I don't know if you could see this very well, but whatever, hold on. Alright, I just laid down some the fabric so you could see the um, color a little bit better. So, yep, you're just going to start, let's see. Alright, so you're just going to start by taking your paper, and you're just, and this is going to be your flower color, holding it up to the top like that, so you have the middle crease line, unfold it and then you're just going to start to hold the sides down remember this is your petal color so like that i'm just gonna get rid of that piece and I'm just do that to all your side pieces so it looks like this and this isn't perfect but whatever fold this into the center line crease thing like this and that it looks like this you want to make sure the creases are very crisp so they won't come undone hold it out so the top goes out you don't want to fold it inward so watch outward not this way not inward outward I'm just making sure you know that so because that would ruin the whole thing so it lo should look like this this way and this way so to make the leaf ones that will look eventually like this it's pretty similar so the beginning part's the same so the beginning parts just fold in half um fold the corners in like this again and then oops after you fold the corners in then you're going to hold this to the center fold down fold this to the center okay now here's the tricky part instead of going outward we're going to be folding inward on this one so you're just going to crease it pretty tightly or stiffly whatever you want to call it so it will look like this or this and then so you're going to need eight of these and four of these all right the next thing you want to do is do something like this and i'm going to show you how to make that i'm just going to put it on my window ledge so you're going to take two of your colors for the actual flower and then one of these, open it up and open one side of the other and place it in it like this, close it, and so you have one flap sticking out. Do the same thing, but you want to do this on the other side with another and press in like that. So and then set that aside you want to do these with a lot of them until you have none left so hold them all in a group and you want to crease them all by folding them to the other side making a line in the middle and I'm just going to quickly just do the whole thing and then fold it really tightly and then unfold it out so you have a nice little crease in the middle. And I'm just taking a rubber band to hold them in place. Until it gets to where you can't do it anymore. I have my doll's hair in this. Ew. <laughs> just like this. Hold it upwards and then start spreading them out. Like this. So one thing I like to do is I just like holding it this way and then the ones on the other side. 
the other way so that way they'll spread out a bit easier and then just you know keep doing that all right so once you have them spread out they keep going back um but once you do have them spread out um like this it should look like that it looks kind of like a bow i guess you could use it as a bow if you want to stop here um but then you take this you want to take the red pieces or the color that you're doing on the outside and you want to fold them upwards so fold them up on the outsides up like that and then crease them so they'll stay in that position and trust me those creases weren't useless from earlier they help everything stay together when you're done it should look something like this um this isn't excuse me this isn't the best but whatever and when i folded it this one didn't turn out as well um because it wouldn't keep go fold very well so now it's time to make the outer corners so in this part you need oops you also need any kind of tape yeah stay all right so then you i kind of ripped it at the top but it doesn't matter you're going to fold it yeah Alright, so now you can finally fold it in half. And just fold along that crease. Then unfold it out. Then fold the other way. So that you have four squares. Fold in the middle of each square, sort of. But as close as you can, because this isn't like really that perfect. So, just fold a triangle looking thingy, and till you have something that looks like this, flip it over, and make sure these lines are crisp on the back, and fold it up and out, oops, like this. Then, when you have this shape, fold in, fold in, until you have it like this. And then, prop it out just a little bit. Then unfold that line in the middle. So then, when you prop them out, it will look. Ugh. Okay, it should look like that. Now I'm gonna fold them back down because you need to fold these sides in from the middle into the middle. <coughs> I have a cold, so. And then. Fold the other ones in so it looks like this, and then so let's start unfolding it out. So, when you unfold it out, you want to make sure you have them um, nice, crisp, and clean lines and stuff. So, you have something that looks like this. Take this. And just place it in the center. I didn't make this one in enough, so I'm just going to fix that little mistake up because it's not that hard to fix and stuff. You should need to make it a little bit tighter. And then pull those out and up and place them in. Now, you're going to Take a pencil or scissors or whatever. 
So I'm just gonna take my scissors, my dog chewed on them, so. And poke it through. If you have a little hole, then take one of the rubber bands. You don't wanna cut this. And then grab it with your finger. Poke it through that hole. Which is kind of hard. So I'm, I'm just like loosening it with my fingernail. And grab it. So. If you used a paper clip, you can go ahead and just link another paper clip to it. Okay, once you have it pulled through, then it should look like this. Take it and put it on your two fingers. Or on one, depending on how it fits. So now you only have basically one hand to work with here. This makes it a bit harder. Fold these side pieces into the middle, like this. Make sure they're all still folded. And then once you have the pad, it should look like this. Now, take that rubber band and take your scissors and holding on to both sides, cut it and then grab one side and you have to be really careful and tie it. Now this would, you don't really have to be that careful with wire or paper clip here. And tie it up. All right, so then you could just clean up the edges a little bit so it would look a little bit nicer. Woo! And then I'm going to make a stem on mine. So I'm just taking that, this little piece, and I'm just going to fold it like this in half. And then in half again, which I need to completely clear, like dent all of these edges to do that so it'll be super thin so taking that same hole oops that fell that I used for that I'm going to carefully hold these strings and you could tie it to the strings or paper clip whatever you're using or you can poke it in to this side piece. And as you can see, it will come out like that. That's all right. Because um, it goes right back through anyway. So, yeah, and this will hold it in place probably. Then poke it up. Then unfold it at the top. So you can hold it up and through it the other side. Let me see where the other side is. And then use some duct tape or any tape. Really doesn't have to be duct tape. A little piece of duct tape. And it needs to be way smaller than this. So going to cut it smaller obviously with scissors and then take it and tape it down. Now I'm going to use a, another piece of tape just to make sure that it'll hold in place. Um, like this. So it looks like this, and then just with those edges, just go back around with it. And now you have a cute little stem and a cute flower. 
So that's just my tutorial. This doesn't have to be a lily pad flower. Um, but like I said, that's your option. Uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy Halloween. Bye.